You may have seen one of the first pictures of Earth. It was captured from the moon's orbit. This picture was taken during the Apollo 8 mission, and it was named Earth Rise. Before this picture, people had never seen Earth from a different planet. Moving on from the scale of planets and solar systems, we have galaxies. Our planet is located in the Milky Way galaxy. According to a 2016 study, there are over 2 trillion other galaxies present in the observable universe. The closest major galaxy to the Milky Way is the Andromeda Galaxy. Now imagine, humanity invents some way to travel to Andromeda Galaxy in the distant future. How would the Earth look like from a galaxy that is 2.5 million light-years away? Well, let's find out. Before we continue further, be sure to subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss our weekly videos. To understand this, we first need to get an idea of what light years are. A light year is the distance that light can travel in one year. In conventional units of distance, one light year is about 9.5 trillion kilometers. Cosmic distances are generally much larger than what people generally perceive them as. Let's try to understand the relation between the distance light has to travel and the time it takes to do so. The speed of light is the fastest known speed in the universe. In theory, nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. When we think about it, the speed of light seems like an unachievable dream. But when you talk about interstellar distances, it is not that impressive. Light travels at a constant speed of 300,000 kilometers per second. With this speed, it can go around Earth about 7.5 times in one second. The speed of light may seem very fast. But when you talk about interstellar distances, the speed of light does not match our ambitions to explore the universe. Everything that we interact with in our daily lives is perceived by us to exist in the present. But due to the limitations of the speed of light, what we see is always in the past. To simplify this, imagine an object at a distance of one meter away from you. The light that the object reflects reaches your eyes after 3.3 nanoseconds. This implies that when you view the object, you are looking at the state of the object 3.3 nanoseconds in the past. The same thing holds for cosmic distances. The time disparities increase the further the object is. Let's take a look at what this implies for astronomical distances like between Earth and the Andromeda Galaxy. How would Earth look like from the Andromeda Galaxy? Our moon is 380,000 kilometers away from us. As a result, we can only view it 1.3 seconds in the past. The moon doesn't change much, but this 1.3 second delay is seen when mission control talks to astronauts on the moon. Radio waves travel at the speed of light, so a message from mission control takes 1.3 seconds to get to the moon, and even the quickest of replies takes another 1.3 seconds to come back. For a distant planet like Mars, we can only see its current state with a 14-minute delay. This means that the rovers we have sent on Mars take almost 14 minutes to properly respond to a single command. That's why it's impossible to see Mars or any astronomical body in real time because of the limitations of the speed of light. Light speed is the limit for every possible speed in the universe. This includes radio waves, microwaves, gamma rays, and other possible waves. The nearest star system to our sun is Proxima Centauri, it is approximately 4.2 light years away. This means that light would take over four years to reach us. But to actually view a planet from such distances, one would require a very large telescope with mirrors that are at least several thousand kilometers long. From Proxima Centauri, if any intelligent life had such a technology, they would be able to see Earth about four years in the past. The same phenomenon applies when we take photos of objects far away in space like the Alpha Centauri star system. Let's scale things up and consider the nearest galaxy to us, Andromeda. In case you wanted to watch the Earth's population, from this distance, you would require a telescope with a mirror that has a diameter of over 15 trillion kilometers or 1.6 light years long. Imagine that a civilization in the Andromeda galaxy is advanced enough to build a telescope with a mirror that is one-third the distance between our Sun and Alpha Centauri. If they were able to locate and view Earth, they would be able to see a very different image of Earth. Since Andromeda is 2.5 million light years away from Earth, they will see Earth 2.5 million years in the past. Earth would look pretty much the same, 
but there won't be any modern humans. Earth would look like a primitive planet with no intelligent life. They would see Paranthropus, a descendant of humans. They lived over 2.6 million years from now. They were the first to use bone tools and provide perhaps the earliest evidence of fire usage. They would find the very first humans to walk on Earth, Homo habilis. They lived in the Ice Age about 2.3 million years ago. They will also encounter one of the most dangerous tigers to ever live on Earth, saber-toothed tigers, which went extinct over 2.5 million years ago. Obviously, the hypothetical advanced civilizations viewing us from the Andromeda galaxy would not see any signs of modern civilization or the advances we have made as a society over the span of several million years. Previously, we have talked about possible alien civilizations viewing our planet with extreme clarity from the Andromeda galaxy. Now, let's take a look at how we perceive distant bodies. With our current technology, we can observe light from cosmic bodies up to 46 billion light years away. There are several cosmic bodies further away, whose light hasn't reached us yet and is still on the way. In the distant future, our visibility would increase to 61 billion light years or more with technologies like the James Webb Telescope. This also implies that there could be advanced civilizations or life forms that have evolved as of now, but we can only see the empty star clusters and galaxies with no signs of existing life. We are only able to view the long past state of objects at distances this far. There could also be radio signals from civilizations trying to contact us, which are still on the way. Observing distant objects in space can be perceived as looking back in time itself. This happens because light is not infinitely fast and has a limited velocity at which it travels from one point to another. The effects of this phenomenon can be seen clearly in the case of how Earth would look from a distant galaxy like Andromeda. At such distances, you are only seeing how the object used to be, rather than what it is now. Strictly speaking, when telescopes look at the light from distant galaxies, they are not literally looking back in time. The past no longer exists, so no one can directly look at it. Instead, the telescopes are looking at the present time pattern of a beam of light. Since the beam of light has been traveling through empty vacuum of space for millions of years, it has been largely undisturbed. Therefore, the present time pattern of this beam of light is the same as the pattern that it had when it was first created by the distant galaxy millions of years ago.